Stop into Lou Martin's restaurant in Whitehaven this holiday season, and Lou will be more than willing to give you the bird. Holidays, anytime is a good time to give him the bird. Lou's not a mean guy. He just wants to make sure that everyone is given the bird this holiday season. I got your bird right here. It'd be one of the only times I'm about to be glad to get the birds. <laughs> give him the bird he does. His restaurant is called Uncle Lou's Fried Chicken. A year ago, this is where the holiday chickens got their start. When Lou injected a chicken with spices, battered it, and deep fried it whole. He then dipped it in honey sauce. The birds, well, they became a holiday hit, and Lou's hoping that eventually they'll become a bigger tradition than turkeys or hams during the holidays. The birds sell for a little more than $11 each. You can get three whole chickens for the price of uh, one 15-pound whole turkey, and doing it this way, enough legs to go around. You don't have to run out of drumsticks at, at uh, holiday time. If you'd like to give a family member the bird this holiday season or stuff a whole deep fried chicken in their stocking, Lou can make that happen as well. Not that anyone would want the whole chicken stuffed in their stocking on Christmas morning. No, but we got a remedy for that also. We also have, we have gift certificates available now. So should you awaken on Christmas morning and find a whole fried chicken gift certificate stuffed in your stocking, Lou Martin says just drive to his restaurant at 3633 Mill Branch and he'll be more than happy to give you the bird. That's a great way to give somebody the bird and they give you a hug and replace it. <laughs> Tom D's Fox 13 News, Whitehaven. I've got Uncle Lou's fried chicken home in the Monster Burger, my happy. You'll find a full-blown article on Uncle Lou's fried chicken in this week's Memphis Business Journal. That's because owner Lou Martin is all about the business of the chicken. Lou actually thinks that maybe the chicken should be our national bird. It may say eagle, but of course, you know, in America, especially in the South, the chicken is the national bird. The chicken is also Uncle Lou's holiday bird. You see, three years ago, Lou started frying chickens whole for Christmas dinners. Normally, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and Easter are our biggest days for the whole, cheap, a whole uh, deep fried chicken. While others might say that the turkey is a better bird, Lou argues that pound for pound, the chicken is tough to beat. According to Uncle Lou, 20 pounds worth of chickens have a lot more meat than a single 20 pound turkey. You got a lot more meat. You got more meat because you got the, the, the bone density is a lot less in chicken than it is turkey. So when you weigh that turkey, you know, on the bone, you got a lot more bone than you do uh, in chicken. Now here's another reason why Lou thinks that chickens are better for holiday meals than say a turkey because when you deep fry just one turkey you only get two drumsticks but if you deep fry three chickens you get six drumsticks and six is a whole lot more than two. Where I took math it was. <laughs> and Lou says that if you do the math you'll find that chicken is more economical than turkey especially if you're buying them deep fried. One turkey is uh, between 45 and $60. You can get three whole chickens for less than $35. Seems that chicken just might be a better bang for your buck. Buck, 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 buck. I mean, buck. Tom D's Fox 13 News, Whitehaven. Oh, yeah, you see it plumping up. Lou Martin calls himself Uncle Lou, and in the last two years, he's captured two big cooking awards right here in the Mid-South. His cooking skills earned him top honors at the Mid-South Fair for two years running, including best food item and best overall food. His latest cooking idea is the deep-fried chicken half. This is our version of low carbs, only half the carbs of a whole chicken. It is the chicken that has been wholly responsible for Lou's business success. A few years ago, he opened Uncle Lou's Fried Chicken and Stuff, but maybe he gave thought to calling his restaurant My Dears. My great grandmother's name is Rosie Gillespie, and uh, we all called her Madea. It's my mother's grandmother. My dear passed on back in 1980 at the age of 80 years old. Although she's been gone for nearly a quarter of a century, she still plays a big role in Lou's kitchen and chicken. Actually, my recipe for my home style or original home style, that's the recipe for my great grandmother. That recipe.
recipe was something that was handed down from Ma Deer to Lou's grandmother, to Lou's mom, and eventually to Lou. It was never written down, it was just handed down and tweaked over the years as family member after family member spent time together in the kitchen. So the moral of the story is this, if you've got a, a loved one in your family who's getting on up there in years and you love their cooking and you love them, go spend some time with them, get the recipe, learn how to cook from them because that's some time you'll never ever regret. Boy, look at that, I gotta say one thing and that is thank you, my dear. Woo, man. I think it's very important, whether it be for business or just for heritage or what have you, you know, so to keep it around so you know what's going, you really know what's, what's going on or what, what has come through your family or whatever. What comes through your family may one day wind up as a business that is really cooking. Tom Dees, Fox 13 News, Whitehaven.